Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lind, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. Today is Friday, March 12th, 2021. It is a day two. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to savor this present moment, to arrive in the here and now, to notice today and not get too carried away with tomorrow. Yes, I know it's a weekend. Yes, I know some of you guys might be super excited about it, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's notice the here and the now. Same thing with the past. We don't want to get too caught up with things that have happened, good or bad, in the past, but let's just arrive in the here and now, okay? It's just like our music video yesterday with, uh, or our music assembly with Miss Sirio. Uh, she talked about it's a good day to have a good day. Well, today is a good day to have a good day. So let's focus on this good day. Now, a good way to get ourselves to get to that point is to have a mindful minute. I want to invite you to join me. So get yourself settled. Think about what breathing technique you want to use. Notice that your body exists. Notice how that chair is holding up the fullness of your weight. And if your feet are on the ground, notice how that floor holds up your feet as well. Okay, now let's use our, our, our senses and look around using our eyes and find and focus in on something, whether it's super interesting or not. But when you lock in on that item, study its shape, its colors, how the light bounces off of it, what shadows are around. If it's normally an item you wouldn't pay attention to normally, but now you are, hopefully you're finding it more and more interesting. Same thing with our uh, sense of hearing. Using our two ears, I want you to just pause for a moment and listen. What sounds are there that you didn't notice before until now when you paid attention? And then with your nose, take a breath in, savor the smells and the scents that are around you. And, you know, just notice what, what, what you notice. Just notice what you notice. And finally, with your skin, notice the temperatures and the textures. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use a hot cocoa method. I was talking to a student at our school here at Fort Seller who said she really liked the hot cocoa method. And, well... I'm going to do it for her. All right, let's go ahead. Take a breath in. Breathing in that hot chocolate. And then as you breathe out, I'm cooling down that hot cocoa. As you breathe in, feel the fullness of that breath, filling up your belly full of air. And then as you breathe out, allow your shoulders to relax, your chest to sink. Breathe in. Feel that air expanding your belly like a balloon. And then as you breathe out once again, notice how your head feels and how your body settles into your chair. Now, once you're in the rhythm of breathing in and out, expand your awareness to your body, noticing your toes and your feet and your heels and your ankles. All of it. Breathe in. Notice your lower legs and both knees and your upper legs and your hips. Noticing the parts that feel healthy and the parts that feel tired or sore. Breathe out. Notice too how the air fills your belly as you put a spotlight on your belly. And as you breathe out, notice how your chest sinks just as much as it rises. Notice your lower back too. Notice your upper back and your shoulders as they relax. Breathe in and put a spotlight on both arms, both elbows, both wrists, both palms and both hands. And as you breathe out, notice your neck and that head that balances up top. And finally, pay attention to and think about those feelings you're bringing to school today. Happiness, sadness, enjoyment, humor, things that are funny. Breathe out. Sit with those feelings and let those feelings send the messages they feel like they need to tell you. Don't push them away. Sometimes when we're sad, we want to ignore that we're sad. Don't do that. Just allow yourself to be sad as you breathe in again. Allow those emotions 
to sit with you and in due time they too will evolve into something else. Breathe out. In a moment you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you're loved, where you're cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and yeah, enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. I love that so many of you guys do join me. And for those who didn't, remember the invitations open every day. We're here in school. Choose a day. Join us. Now, we have three expectations here at the school. I'm going to run through them pretty quickly because I want to focus on a particular part of our school day that uh, definitely our first and second grade students are a part of. Number one, be respectful. You want to give respect to others so you can benefit and experience how great it feels to be respected. It's a two-way street. You got to give it to get it. The other thing, too, is be responsible with yourself, your belongings. Be responsible for others. Be a hero in somebody else's story. Finally, show that you're ready. Ready to learn. Ready to walk in the hallway. Ready to ride the bus. And yes, ready to eat in the cafeteria. Last few days have been kind of challenging in the cafeteria, and I really want all of our students to pay attention to me right now. If you weren't paying attention before, I think it's important that you really focus on me right now. This includes our kindergartners because they're going to hear about how important it is to follow expectations in the cafeteria for the future, but certainly our first and second graders. We have fantastic, awesome, and caring uh, uh, lunch monitors. Um, you know, Miss Ebersol and, and Miss Brown and Miss Fisher, right, and Miss Clements. And they are in the cafeteria at any time, at various times during the lunch block. And it's important that we see them as fellow human beings, which means that they have feelings too. And it's really important that to help them do their jobs, to make them feel like they're supported by you, you need to practice being respectful. That means using our, um, our bodies the correct way. We are putting our bottoms on, you know, where our seats really ought to be, where the stickers are on the bench. And even if you don't have a sticker on the bench, it's where you know a sticker would be. You know that your masks are off during the times when you're eating. And that is a very, very important place where you you you, you are seating, seated across, you know, far enough away from each other so that our germs aren't getting crossed. So if you are out of your seat and you know who you are, it's important that you know that being back in your seat is how you show respect. The other thing, too, is our volume. We know how to talk at a level one. We know how to talk at a level two. And if I were to be shouting, we know how to talk at a level three. We don't want three or two, but we want one in the cafeteria. I didn't say zero. Now, there are times when we need to reset ourselves and be at a zero, but normally in the cafeteria, we want to be at a level one so that we are not, you know, making other people's ears hurt. You guys go around talking to other people about you liking them the, just the way they are. Well, if that's true, then you want to be respectful of their ears. So I have noticed some getting a little loose with our students with some of you are i know some of you guys are doing the right thing and i really love that you guys are doing the right thing but many of us are kind of losing track of ourselves you need to stay seated and you need to be seated in uh the area that you're asked to be seated and you also need to bring your volume down i am asking our teachers uh to understand that if our students are not following the right directions 
that some of recess can be taken away because we're going to count that as you using some of your recess time in the cafeteria. I know it sounds like I'm punishing you guys, so I think it's really important that we don't get to that point. It is important that you are respectful and responsible and ready in the cafeteria. Okay, now I know I sounded stern there for a moment. You know that some of you guys have come to my office and we have had some very serious conversations. One thing is very important that you hear from me, especially if you haven't heard it from anyone else. Regardless, we love you. I love you. And number two, I like you just the way you are. Let's make Friday count. Let's do it for ourselves and let's do it for others. And if I don't see you, have a good weekend.